my own Psalm 91 book by Peggy Joyce Ruth. Verse 1. This book is written just for you because God wants to protect you so you never have to be afraid again. God invites you to find a secret place where just the two of you meet each day. Verses 2 and 3. God wants you to say out loud, I trust you, Lord, and I know that you are the one that who protects me from harm. Verse 4. Have you ever seen an old mother hen cover her chicks with her wings when the hawk flies down to hurt them? Under their mother's wings, those chicks are safe. Did you know that if you trust God, God will hide you from harm and the old mean devil cannot touch you? Verse 5. There are some people in the world who are not nice. They do mean things. And that makes God sad. But God does not want you to be afraid. He is stronger and more powerful than people who do bad things. Verse 6a. God does not want you to be afraid of some bad disease. Doctors are nice people who, that God uses to help. Sick people get well, but God is even more powerful than the doctor, and he wants you to be healthy. Verses 6b through 10. God wants you to know that you do not have to be afraid of things like storms, thunder, car wrecks, or scary dark places. You will see bad things happening in the world, but God wants you to trust him, so none of those things will hurt you. Verses 11 through 12. Did you know that angels are real even though you don't see them? God created the angels to watch over you and protect you. Remember to thank God every day for the angels that he sends to protect you from harm. Verse 13. When the devil tries to scare you, he is like an old, mean old lion or an ugly snake or a wicked dragon. When you're afraid, say a scripture verse out loud. Then the devil will leave because he does not like to hear God's word. God says, because blank, put your name here, loves me and is my friend. I will take blank, your name, away from evil. And I will allow blank, your name, to sit with me up high. It is fun when daddy lifts you up high in his arms. God will lift you up even higher. Verse 15a, if you love God and obey him, when you, then you can call on him in prayer and he will hear you and answer you. What an honor for God to talk to us. Verse 15b, have you ever done something that wasn't nice and later you were sorry that you did it? God is there. When you are in trouble, God says he will forgive you. So be very quick to run to him and say, forgive me. I am sorry. Verse 16. God wants you to live a long, good life. Lots of people live long lives. But the only way to live a happy life is by living for God. This little book tells you all about the wonderful protection promises that God made just for you. So read it over and over until you know every one of them by heart. Lord Jesus, I know that you love me and you want to always take care of me. I believe that you died and rose again for me and I want to live for you. So please come into my heart and make me your child. Forgive me for all the bad things I have done and help me be a good person that makes you happy. Thank you that I can live forever with you. I love you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. The end. Thanks for listening to this story. Bye stay bye. tuned for the next one. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye now.